And so, Mr. Phil, uh, what are some locations that are really good? What's really prime locations these days? Okay, so right now, um, you know, I, I always talk about this is dispensaries are a great location. Before, we couldn't put money into a dispensary. That's um, CBD, right? Uh, like a, a, yeah, like a cannabis dispensary or CBD. Okay. Um, we couldn't do that up until about September of 2020. But now the banks have said, hey, you, we can do that. We're okay with that as long as it's 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 our money. So that's a phenomenal because, as you know, they don't take credit cards, 100% cash, and there's a need for people when they need to buy their product. And so that's a, that's a, a, a number one location. Gentlemen's clubs, I don't go there. We don't have any personally. I stay away because I'm married. I don't need my wife uh, saying anything, and I just stay away. But <laughs> some of the guys – some of the guys, they like that. And they say, oh, hon, I got to go because, you know, the ATM's down. Hey, they need me. Right. They need me. I'm My boring. girls need me. Right. So, uh, you know, and if the, the ATM goes down, those poor girls, they don't get to make any money. They need that ATM up and running. So I uh, I stay away from that. But some of the single guys out there, you know, like, God love you. If I was single, I'd probably do it too. So um, that's a good spot. The other other things are cash only restaurants. Um, people say, well, there's not a lot. No, there's taquerias out there. There uh, there is um, uh, hot dog places. Those kind of quick places. A lot of places still they don't want to do the credit card. They do the cash only. So those are good locations. Hotels, and then you got your run run the mill. I would say the secondary market, which would be um, a laundromat, convenience store, gas station, liquor store. Those are secondary market. Doesn't mean that they're not great, good locations. They're very good. Um, but you asked me for the best of the best. And so that's what I gave you. Thank you. There you have it, y'all. There you have it. Best of the best, where the where the trends are, where the money is at. So put so gentlemen's clubs, cannabis CBD look dispensaries, mm -hmm. cash only restaurants, and laundromats and uh yep laundromats so there you have it so those are the best of the best you want to put your and gas stations sorry gas right. stations he said gas station oh cash gas stations didn't i don't think they even closed during the pandemic they stayed open wow. the entire time so that was a that was something interesting so what one of the things that that never happened is is whatever you want to call it um uh, i forgot the name of the they say the, um mandatory places that had to stay open what, they, what was the name i forgot uh what they call those um, essential, sorry, essential places. Yeah. And I lost my, my, I'm getting old now. So, you know, I, I don't you look good. Yeah. You look good. <laughs> I'm almost 90. So, you know, I thank you. I appreciate what? it. No. I need your secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so the, so the essential businesses were the convenience stores, uh, the laundromats, um, the gas station, those places were open. Um, and we had, we had a lot of bars and restaurants. They closed those places, but the others were open. So there was an influx of ATM transactions in those businesses. So, you know, we kind of evaluated and said, look, we need to focus a little bit more on this. We don't know how long this COVID is going to be around. We don't understand what, you know, that was way before they even thought about a vaccine. So we needed to gravitate to some of those locations. So we did. We, we concentrate a little bit more in that area and started building relationships with convenience stores and gas station owners that were up and coming um, to to gravitate to that market absolutely that makes sense yeah. so gas station yeah so there's a there's a strategy right and there's the pivot right a lot of businesses weren't able to pivot in this pandemic and right. so here you have he masterminded right just like a like his mastermind group you have to connect <laughs> with him get on facebook his mastermind group um he masterminded with his team and he said, listen, we have to focus and we have to transition. Um, the bars, the bars that I have, they, they shut down that, that hurt, right? Because some of the bars, um, also have the gambling machines. They have the casinos in them. So that hurt when those bars shut down. So it's just like him, you got to pivot and you got to find, okay, who's open gas stations, right? People still need gas. People still want the convenience stores and the traffic, I guess the CDC and the regulations and the FDA said those aren't high traffic enough to shut them down. And they're essential. They need gas. You still need that gas. So remember this business is still a business. So you still got to strategize. It's not a one and done. Okay. Now I'm a millionaire tomorrow. It takes no. time. Um, he started with one. Now he has thousands. It right. takes time and it, it is an time. investment. 